China's first crewed Tiltroder aircraft is flying. China has flown its first crewed Tiltroder aircraft, now undergoing flight testing. This is the first design of its kind to take to the air in China. And while details remain scarce, it's a strong sign of growing Chinese interest in this unique class of aircraft. Tiltroders are valuable because they combine the vertical takeoff ability of a helicopter with the speed and range of a turboprop. This makes them ideal for missions in the Indo-Pacific, where China is expanding its military presence and seeking greater control over the South China Sea. The exact designation of the new Tiltroder, as well as the company behind it, is still unknown. Rumors suggest Hafei Aviation, a subsidiary of Harbin, may be involved. In the past, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC, has displayed similar concepts at air shows. Recent images that surfaced on social media show at least two prototypes. One is seen parked in a hangar, with another directly behind it. In terms of design, the aircraft is broadly similar to the Italian-made Leonardo AW609. It has a cabin mounted beneath a straight wing, with engines at the wingtips that can rotate between helicopter and airplane modes. However, the Chinese Tiltroder appears to use newer technology, like Bell's V280 Valor, in which only the front part of the engine nacelle rotates. This design reduces complexity and improves performance compared to the older V-22 Osprey system. The tail section features a conventional T-tail with a rudder. Access doors are located on both sides of the fuselage, along with a larger cabin door on the right. The aircraft uses retractable landing gear with a single wheel on each strut. Size-wise, it seems to fall into the same category as the AW609, which is smaller than the V-22 Osprey. The AW609 has a maximum weight of about 18,000 pounds, compared to 52,000 for the Osprey. The Italian Tiltroder can carry around a dozen passengers while the V-22 carries twice as many and has a rear-loading ramp for vehicles and cargo. The AW609 is capable of cruising at 270 knots and has a range of up to 1,000 nautical miles with extra fuel. If China's design matches these figures, it could be useful for both civilian and military missions. While civilian uses are often emphasized, Tiltroders have clear military applications. They are well suited for combat search and rescue, special operations, amphibious assault, and humanitarian relief. China's aircraft may eventually be presented as a commercial platform, but the People's Liberation Army is certain to take notice. China has already experimented with Tiltroder drones such as the UR-6000, which first appeared last year. Although introduced as a civilian project, later images showed it painted in PLA markings. The same dual-use potential is almost certain for this new crude Tiltroder. For the PLA, Tiltroders would be especially useful in the Indo-Pacific where operating from short runways or even ships is critical. They could deliver supplies to remote island outposts in the South China Sea, 
or carry troops and equipment during amphibious operations. The United States faces similar challenges in this theater, and China is clearly taking notes. For Beijing, the ability to project power from islands and amphibious ships is fundamental to its strategy of expanding influence across the Pacific. The appearance of this prototype confirms one thing. China is serious about Tiltroder technology. And while many questions remain, this new aircraft is a clear signal that China intends to keep pace with the world's most advanced military aviation developments.